How's it going Rogues Gallery and welcome to a double Everfest booster box opening using the luckiest playmat of all time. Now if you don't know, this playmat is from Fab TCG Cards, um, who the owner is uh, Jim. You may have seen him on my Flesh and Blood Calling Travel Vlogs. Uh, Jim's a great dude, one of my favorite people in the Flesh and Blood community. And this playmat is notoriously lucky. I've had multiple friends in the Flesh and Blood community say they have opened the straight fire. The, the, I was gonna say spice, fire spice, using this playmat. And so that's what I hope to do today, opening these two Everfest boxes. My luck has been pretty good so far. Um, if you've seen the previous videos, I have opened up two legendaries. I have also opened up another uh, stalagmite off screen, but I still have not opened up a full art Earth War bounty, which is what I'm really looking for, or the grandeur of Valahai. So look for the fabled and look for a full art cold foil majestic, and maybe we'll get there, maybe we won't. I want to also, like I said, give a huge shout out to Jim from Fab TCG Cards, really, really nice dude. He has his play playmat available here. This is kind of his signature signature character, and uh, great, great store. We have a pick a card, any card, the same pick a card, any card, and a high roller. Um, so we got uh, rares, foil rares, and put foil commons there too. I'll just have a got some sleeves just in case. <laughs> I'm expecting, fingers crossed for the actual luck. So. We'll see. These booster boxes are actually bought by Team Coming. I'm just gonna shout out all of the community members in this in this video. Shout out by uh, shout out to Team Covenant. These are the booster boxes. I usually have pretty good luck with my Team Covenant boxes. Actually, we got a payload, Talisman of Cremation, and a Release the Tension. Um, yes. Other so why why is this Matt lucky? Let, let's get the eye peeking through. Why is this Matt lucky? Well, good friend Ian Kenderdine opened up like really really nice sealed pools with tons of sweet majestics i believe he opened up did he open up a fable on it i don't know i i know other people have also opened up just like the straight spice on this we got steadfast amulet of intervention and t-bone gotta love the t-bone um so yes <laughs> yes uh at this point now i've, I've opened up uh, an ungodly amount of everfest how many cases have I gone through? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about it. We have a Coalescence Mirage, even bigger, and then a Slice and Dice. Uh, all great cards, actually. All three of those cards are really good and playable. That Coalescence Mirage, do not underestimate it. It's a good one, and I think it will see play in some Prism lists. You got Twin... Twin sisters, got sister, got sister, sister. We have a, a rainbow foil wild right, shout out to uh, Radio Reflex for the big pig. High striker and a rune blood. Um, just, just rune blood, blood invocation. I don't know. I was trying to think of another Metalocalypse thing. Rune blood, blood river, raining the blood down from overhead. We have Drowning Dire, even bigger than that. What's what's bigger than that? It's Amulet of Ignition. I don't know, it's a pretty small, pretty small, just a little rock. It's just a little, little molten rock. But that, that Amulet of Ignition is definitely from Volcor. God, I'll tell you what. I wanna do a whole video on this, but uh, I have my suspicions that we are going to Volcor next. And if we are, I'm, I'm stoked. I am so stoked for it. We got a payload, followed by a healing potion. I love it. And then 100 wins. We have not pulled a single Majestic yet. The, the luck mat. What? What? I think everyone has already absorbed all of the luck from the luck mat. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I love Coalescence Mirage. It's so good. Both the card and the art. We have in the swing. Beautiful card. Smashing good time, and then, ooh, first, we got our first Majestic. This is Gore Howl. Yep, that's Gore Howl. If you know, you know. And if you know, then, um, you remember trying to farm that thing in Karazhan, right? <laughs> um, I I'll tell you, I, in, in Karazhan, I got the Sunberry, uh, it's the Sun Fury Bow of, I don't remember what it's called. It's the Sun Fury Bow, right? Um, 
on all of my characters, except for my hunter, which was my main character at the time, at a, at a night elf hunter. And I really wanted the Sun Fury bow, the Sun Fury bow of invocation or something. I don't know. I just really wanted that freaking bow. And it dropped for my rogue. It dropped for my warrior. Dropped on when I played my mage. Didn't never dropped on my freaking hunter. By the time uh, it was relevant, I got I ended up getting something else. But you know, we gotta ride the tailwind even bigger than that. And a beautiful passing mirage. Um, good times. I don't I don't play World of Warcraft anymore for a myriad of reasons. I mean, the easiest of which is that I just don't have time. I just don't have time to play WoW. Um, though I say that and I play Lost Ark. But, I don't know, there's just, there's just a lot. Ooh, rainbow foil, nick and knack, a brick a brick. You gotta get the, the foiling on that one though, really nice. Amulet, oh dude, double majestic pack. I have not gotten the triple, I have not gotten the triple yet. But uh, that's, a, that's a pretty nice one. I should probably put that one in a sleeve. Let me get the sleeves out. I, I sleeve up in these penny sleeves. Uh, these are um, ultimate guard penny sleeves, basically. Majestic or higher. So I'll do cold foil, majestic foil. Um, I'll even do the extended arts, even though they're not worth a ton right now, which is insane to me because they're actually really hard to pull. Um, I don't know. We'll see. The value of this set will be very interesting to me. I don't really normally follow the market, like at all, like not even a little. Um, so I'll pull something. I don't even know how much it's worth. Like I literally don't have, <laughs> don't know how much these are worth, but I don't care. Cause like, I just want the cards to play with. And that's why I'm opening these up. Ooh, cold foil, but not the one that we wanted. Amulet of assertiveness. I think it's kind of, I think this one's pretty cool. I'll put this in a sleeve. Um, I kind of want to get, like, I'm not really gunning for it, but I kind of want to get at least one of all of the cold foils in the set. That'd be sweet. I normally just go for um, cold foil, just, just the legendaries, right? I, I, I wanna get a full set of every card. That, that's my goal, uh, every single set. So I can build decks and do whatever videos that I want. That, that's kind of the, the thing. Um, we have a Shrill of Skull Form, Arcane Lantern, and a Release the Tension. Arcane Lantern's still kind of hard to get. If you're pulling, if you're not opening a lot of boxes, right? If you're opening like a ton of cases like I've been doing, like, I don't know, five or six cases, you end up with a bunch. But it's like maybe like one a box, if that. Sometimes like less than that. I don't know. Got bad beats. That's what this box is so far. Amulet of Certainness and the Rune Blood in Kanto. This box is kind of bad beats. <laughs> we have two, two Majestics, a Foil Majestic, and then a uh, amulet. Well, well. You know, one good thing about this set is that there's some really, really good common cards. And so if you just want to play commoner, your decks are going to be pretty spice. You got Outland Skirmish, Potion of Luck. Ooh, blood on our hands. Nice. I like the blood on our hands. This art's really cool. Really metal. That artist, by the way, has like 30 followers on Twitter, which is a, <laughs> it's, a it's a damn shame. Like seriously, 30 followers. They're so good. The art is so good. And then like, I don't know, man, I'm not going to throw shade, but I was going to just say like some other popular artists for some other popular games have many more followers and I don't know. Got the, got the drowning pool, got the drowning pool. Warfare. Ooh, that's a good, that's a really good one. Miraging Metamorph. I think I needed that. Uh, it's also really hard to pull a lot of the Majestics in this set because there's so many. Like I, I'll just open up. Like, I think I've only pulled like one or two of some of them and I've opened up like five cases, which is insane. Like, I don't have a full play set yet, uh, which is usually not the case. It usually only takes a couple cases to get a full play set. We have a Timidity Point, Potion of Bloodborne, because it's, it's got eyes. It's got the eyes. If you know, you know, part two, Bloodborne Boogaloo. Yo, okay, okay. If you're watching this far, I'm not sure when this video is coming out. It might already be out by the time this video comes out. Yo, who's looking for forward to uh, Elden Ring, right? Elden Ring crew, rise up. I'm so stoked for, ooh, yo, full art. Just talk about talk about Elden Ring. Get a fabled, ah, all right. <laughs> no, no, we got, got the, the full art 100 wins though, or the extended. Um, it's funny, uh, DM Armada bought a bunch of these on 
TCG player, which I think is a good idea, but I'm just opening so many of them. I might have like a full full set. Well, not a full play set, but I have at least a couple of each at this point. Um, anyway, Elden Ring crew, rise up. I'm so stoked. I'm a huge, huge Souls series fan. If you used to watch my old video game channel, and yes, I used to have an old video game channel, I did full Let's Plays of Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3. Uh, full platinum guides on both of the games, I believe. Ooh, foil try shot. Let's go. Okay, so we got Majestic One. Ah, oh, rare. Ruining it with the smashing good time. That's a really nice one, though. I will take that try shot. It's my second foil try shot. And what's great about that is that I'm running this in one of my current Blitz decks, like a, a Lightning Lexi Blitz deck. And, uh,. Try shot combined with a three of a kind is super nice. Obviously you do the try shot first and then you three, three of a kind and then boom, 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 just fire more arrows. It's super nice. But uh, yes, I can't remember what I was saying. Anyway, I'm a huge Soul Series fan. Elden Ring, give me, give me the Elden Ring. Also this card's gorgeous. We have a, ooh, knickknack brick. Ooh, double majestic. Oh, we're so close again, it's our second double majestic. So we have Knickknack, Brick a Brack, and Swarming Gloomville, which I know is one of the better cards. Or one, one of the ones that people are looking after, at least. Once again, no idea on the value. <laughs> no idea on the value. Um, but that's what it, no, no, that is what it is. So, so far this is a very average box. I, I have pulled, once again, I can't be, I can't complain too much. I have opened up three legendaries, um, but no, Fabled, and everyone was like, it's so common. Look at us. Look at us opening up the Fable left and right, posting it on Facebook and Twitter. Well, I think that's just because that uh, so many people are opening up boxes these days. Literally everyone who opens up one is gonna share it, right? So it looks more common than it is. I don't think it's common. Uh, as someone who's opened up a ton of cases, I can tell you, definitely not that common. Uh, Break Tide is pretty sweet though. Remember, I, I said this last time, I'll say it again. It looks like uh, um, the dude from Lone Wolf and Cub. Shout out to, oh, okay. So the, also Lone Wolf and Cub. All the people who commented on that, you guys are awesome, by the way. Um, I'm glad I have a very cultured uh, audience. Dude, no joke, Lone Wolf and Cub is sick. It's so good. Sick as, like a, as in awesome. We have uh, Twisted Sister. Ooh, another cold foil. Um, the cold foil uh, talisman of Featherfoot. So it's a two cold foil amulet box. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not the best, but not too bad. Amulet. We have one more pack from that box. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. My hopes are not good because we've already got two cold foils, but who knows? Maybe we got like the nuts box and there's like three cold foils in here. I don't know. I don't know. We got, ooh, silver token. I've only opened up like two of these. Amulet of Oblation and Thunderquake. This is actually a really nice pull. I'm gonna put it in a sleeve. I've only ever opened up two foil silver out of like five or six cases. Really need to count how many cases that I have going on. Let's kind of like tidy up the stacks a little bit. Tidy up the stacks. You know what, we'll tidy up this a little bit too. Uh, this was a very, slightly above average box, right? So we have seven Majestics plus, actually, it's a lot of Majestics actually. It was a nine Majestic box, including the two. And then we got uh, two Cold Foil Commons or Rares and then a Full Art and the Foil Token's really nice. But I would say this is okay. This this is this is an okay box. As, as far as like, you know, non-crazy spicy boxes go, I'd say this is all right. We're gonna put the the foil try shot on top. Cause it's sick, man, it's sick. All right, let's uh, open up this box. All right, Jim Matt. That's what I'm calling this. This is, the, this is the Oh Great Jim Matt. Oh Great Jim Matt, please grant me luck. Grant me the luck of the gym. Jim has like crazy luck, by the way. If you, if you don't know, if you should watch our live stream where he just casually opens a fable and then he posted uh, in a private chat a little bit after that another fabled he had opened and that's like his third one I think his third fabled from from the set so uh, the gym luck is strong uh, but I don't have the gym luck I have the Kel luck 
Like Hell Luck is like, it's all right, but it's not great. We have Skull Potion, Potion Cella, Signal Jammer. That is a Majesty. Come on, come on, come on now. I really love opening these packs, by the way. This is, this is my favorite way to do it. You just break it down like that and then, whoop. Ah, so nice. I wish all, all packs to be like this from now on. That is my wish, is to be a fish. No. <laughs> got a foil 100 wins, Talisman of Warfare. Ooh, Pulverize, we got the One Punch Man energy coming through. Look at that. That is big One Punch Man energy. Power. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go keep going. Uh, dude, okay. Another thing, this is Tangents of Plenty. That, that's me. Red Zone Tangents of Plenty. Um, one Punch Man is so good, dude. Season one, the season one opening is like one of the most hype things I've ever seen. I think I've watched One Punch Man season one, specifically maybe like four or five times. We have Bad Beats, Potion of Bloodborne. Um, it's so good. I've seen season two once, it's fine. You know, animation's much worse. Uh, it's fine. And then recently, my partner and I finished watching Mob Psycho 100, which is awesome. Mob Psycho is baller and all, both seasons are really good. It's weird. It's made by the same guy who did One Punch Man. The animation studio is fantastic. Highly, highly recommend Mob Psycho 100. It's, it's, it's like a comedy anime as same as like One Punch Man. Um, it also has an overpowered main character like One Punch Man, but it's, it's still like, it's really good. It's one of those shows where like characters will randomly show up at random times and you're like, all right, that was a one-off. And then, then they're just like a main character for the rest of the show. And that happens to like a lot of characters. Uh, we got this pyroglyphic, even bigger than the high roller. Um, but yeah, Mob Psycho, watch it. Watch that Mob Psycho. Also, Mob Psycho, both intros, season one and season two, have like killer like intros and music. And they're just weird <laughs> and it's, it's so good. It's so good. It's one of those things you're like, why is there a giant broccoli at the, at the end of the first season? Like there's a giant broccoli at the, uh, not the end of the first season. There's a giant broccoli at the end of the, the first season's intro. And you're like, what the, what the hell's with a giant broccoli? And by the time you watch the end of season two, you're like, oh yeah, that, that's the giant broccoli. Um, it's such a good show. Anyway, that's my talk. That's my TED talk about Oh no, again? What? Oh my God. <laughs> it's my third, it's my third cold foil helm of sharp eye. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it, but like also like, can I open up another card please? I, I, I really want the earth floor bounty. I really want the earth floor bounty. Uh, I've only opened up one, by the way, at all in like five cases, five or six cases or whatever. Um, yeah. And it's not a, not the cold foil one. I want the cold foil one. Of course I want the cold foil one. Um, Phantasmal Haze, Talesman, and the other stuff. All right, Jim Map, you're kind of failing me here. You're trolling, I, I feel the troll. It's not bad opening up a cold foil majestic, but if it's the same one you've opened up twice already, I mean, <laughs> I mean, all right. I'm gonna have to definitely rune chant token. You don't really see that that often. Ooh, spectral shield token is actually quite rare. Knickknack, ooh, oh, this is a good pack. We have a foil token, very, very hard to get. Majestic and a majestic skull crushers, even though I've opened up like a ton of skull crushers. Um, that majestic or the, that, that foil specter shield token is actually super sick. I think I have enough of them now to just run all foil spectral shield tokens. Uh, cause prism's like, you know, pretty good. Speaking of prism, speaking of prism, I've been thinking a lot about the pro tour and the calling in New Jersey. Now, right now I have no idea if I'm going to be doing coverage. Like I'll be frank. I don't know. And no one else knows like no one knows. Um, and if that's the case, then I am probably just going to play in the calling. And if I do play in the calling, I think this time, last time I played Lexi, you know, I wanted to play a class that I just really liked, but this time I might just try to meta it and try to actually like go far and win. 
which is, you know, I haven't done that in a very long time. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm really looking forward to the event no matter what. Um, I think it's just going to be a, a ton of fun. And even if I don't get to do casting and coverage, I, I think it's going to be just an absolute blast. And I hope people out there, hope you who are watching go, and you know, we can say hi to me and we can maybe t chat a little bit. I, um, that's one of my favorite parts about these events, honestly, just meeting everyone, chatting with people. It, it's great. Ride the tailwind, pick a card. We've got, an <laughs> we got another gore howl. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And I want to give a shout out to everyone who met me at last year's calling season. Even if I was like really busy and on my way to do coverage, um, I appreciate everyone who like stopped and said hi. It was a lot. It was a lot of people. So thank you all. Uh, it was a crazy experience. I've never ha had that experience, right? Where I'd be walking and I'd get stopped like every couple seconds by people. Um, and uh, you know, even if I was late, I, I really enjoy talking to everyone. So uh, thank you. That it, it made it made that experience uh, one of a kind for me. So um, yeah, not to get sentimental at the end of this, but uh, yeah, I, I hope to not experience that again, but just to to meet everyone uh, again. So yeah, uh, no matter what, coverage or no, I'm gonna have an absolute blast and. They're gonna have artists there, and hopefully they're gonna have people from Legend Story Studios there, which is awesome. I'd love to finally meet James in person, Alan Hale, um, Ian Kenderdine, great folks. All would love to meet them all in person and uh, take them all out to uh, to dinner. Have a, a nice dinner, drinks, a uh, good time. That is my, that, <laughs> those are my intents with that. Um, uh, so we're coming down to it. We only got a few more packs left. The gym, the gym mat has not brought me luck, but maybe if I complain enough about it, this is a gorgeous card. Maybe if I complain, ooh, I mean, that, that pack wasn't bad. I was like, maybe if I complain enough about it, maybe uh, I'll, they'll toss me a pity card here at the end. Well, if we get another cold foil, it'll probably just be an item, but I don't know, man. Like, you never know. I'm just gonna skip through a lot of these. I'm just gonna skip them. Skip them. We got a red read the glide path, which is actually really nice. We have smashing slice and dice. Uh, that red that red uh, read the glide path might make it into one of my decks. I don't think I have a full set of the, the foils yet. We still have a few more packs left. We still have a few more packs left. Even DM Armada has been luckier than me this Everfest season because he has pulled a cold foil bravo we have a zoom in healing potion and a genus what you need i've actually pulled a, a ton of the heroes a lot of people are worried that the heroes would be really hard to get because they're majestic they are not hard to get i pulled so many i have like six or seven genuses and then i pulled like i don't know like like two of one of the wizard cards the wizard majestics so maybe it's just my luck maybe it's just like I have uh, hero heavy boxes. We got Twisted Sister, Potion of Eyeballs. No, it's not, this is not Potion of Eyeballs. This is Potion of uh, Crovius, Emmanuel Crovius. And I think I've already announced that I'm working with Emmanuel Crovius this year uh, to do uh, some splash art for me to make into a playmat and also de designing our new character for the year, which is super exciting. Like I'm actually really, really excited for it. Character looks awesome. We're gonna vote on the name soon. It's just so sick. It's so sick. We have a foil life of the party, a smashing good time, and a slice and dice. Ooh, we're coming down to it. We've got like what four packs left, if I had to guess. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have more Everfest openings that are my own. I'm definitely gonna have some patron-sponsored Everfest openings. So if you'd like a Everfest opening sponsored by yours truly. And go check out my Patreon. I think I have three slots still available at the time of this recording, but uh, those might be taken up by the time the recording goes out, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah. Those are fun, though. Those are really fun. Um, I'm, I'm charging a little bit. I'll be, I'll be completely transparent here. So I'm charging a little bit more than you can get boxes for right now. Um, I'm charging 110 shipped, and that's about... The way I'm justifying that is, is it's about $80 for the box. 
Uh, and then it is an extra 30 bucks for shipping and uh, support for me. Because that's kind of like the whole point for the, the sponsored box openings. You're sponsoring a thing. So, um, you know, I get a little bit out of it. More than a video. I mean, like, I can just open up the boxes myself for a video, right? But, uh, yeah. It's just a little way to support me. And, uh, ooh, ho, ho, ho. Rainbow Foil Icelander. I have not seen one of these. Beautiful. I mean, I have a cold foil one, but this uh, rainbow foil is really, really nice. And then, ah, uh, oh, Arcane Lantern, bro. <laughs> bro, break my heart. That's a, I do like this Icelander. I like the, I like the rainbow foil Icelander. It's really nice. I have a rainbow foil uh, Volda as well. I think the only rainbow foil is Genus. I don't have Genus. All right, this is the last pack. Uh, the gym mat has given me two decent boxes, but nothing, but nothing crazy. I still recommend go and support Fab TCG cards. In fact, if you are one of my patrons, you have 10% off Fab TCG cards every single month. And you can use that on anything. If you want to buy Fabled, you can use it on that. You can use it on anything. Uh, ooh, last, last hit, busted, busted Benji card. Spring Tidings. How many Majestics do we got? I feel like we got a lot. Two, four, six, seven, eight. We got eight Majestics. Nine if you include the Icelander. All right, we got a lot of Majestics. The cold foil that we got is one that we pulled three times, which is kind of crazy though. Kind of crazy, not gonna, not gonna lie. Well, that is today's opening. Thank you so much for being here and watching as I sort this, this mess of cards. I'm just gonna toss these all into a pile. We got a, got a nice little stack of uh, Majestics here though for two boxes. That's not bad, that's not bad. And then out of out of this stuff, we got, what, three cold foils. Only got one extended art. Like I said, I think the extended art are pretty, pretty hard to get. We got a bunch of cold foil Majestics, which is nice, including this beautiful, beautiful Icelander. Really, really cool. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. And we'll see you next time for some more Flesh and Blood content. Have a good day. We'll see you later.